to another Halloween tutorial. So this one, I don't really know what to call it. I wanted to do something very colorful. I don't really know if this is like super useful for Halloween, but I thought it looked pretty cool and was fun to do. So if you guys like to see how I got this makeup, then please keep watching and let's get started. Starting this look off, I'm going to begin by first tracing out where I want this split face to be and also where I want it to be on my neck, so bringing it all the way down. And this is just a rough sketch, so if it's a little bit jaggedy, don't really matter. And then I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick in 125 and applying that on my face, but you know, I totally forgot to cover up my eyebrows, which I have glued down. So I'm going in with the Benefit Erase Paste in number 2 and just applying that with my fingers and packing that on, making sure to set it with a little bit of translucent setting powder and then going over top of that with the foundation. Make sure you bring it all the way down to your neck and anywhere else that you guys have decided to leave empty. Once that is good to go, make sure you set all the areas that tend to crease. For me, that's underneath my eyes, obviously. And then I'm going to be uh, doing a little bit of contouring. I'm using the Tarte Sculptor in shade 2. This is actually my first time using this. And I was at first a little bit scared. But you know what? It turned out pretty, pretty bomb. I actually really like this contour stick. So yeah, we're just going to be applying that. Blending it out. I found it was easier to use like a blending brush rather than this sort of buffing brush. I probably just used it totally wrong, but whatever. And once you've got that good to go, we'll be applying a little bit of blush over top. I'm using the NARS Orgasm Blush. And then for a highlight, I'm going in with the Sephora Stardust Highlighter. Moving on to the eye, the one eye, I'm going into the Neutral Necessity palette from Suva Beauty, taking this shade called Turkish Bath, and then just applying that all over the lid, blending out. Now taking this shade called Madrid, blending it pretty crazy. Uh, I wanted a very like dramatic and like smoky type of eye, and I thought this would look good, so I'm blowing it out pretty far on the upper and lower lash line. Now taking this shade called Lockbridge, I'm going to be applying that right underneath, so pretty much in the crease on the upper and lower lash line. This is kind of making it a little bit more orangey, which was what I was feeling. Then taking this shade called Islander, I'll be applying that onto the lid. And then going over top of that with the shade called Night Market. It's like this black shade, it's real fucking nice. And I'm going to just pop that on the lid. And then I went back and forth using the Islander shade to help with blending. I kind of did this in a really weird order, but whatever. It turned out, so that's all that matters. Next, I'll be taking the shade D12 from the Makeup Forever XL liners, applying that in the waterline on both the upper and lower lash line, and making sure to feather that out just slightly. We're going to do a really extreme cat liner, so going in with the Urban Decay Razor Sharp liner in perversion and we are just winging it pretty much all the way up to our temples we're going for an extreme ass eyeliner so if you've got a different eye shape just do it according to your eye shape i sort of have a little bit of a hooded eye and this is what works for me also bring that a little bit on the lower lash line so that it meets and connects and looks a little bit less chunky if you if y'all know what I mean. Also bring that in the inner corner slightly. And then, I don't know how the hell I managed to do this in one foul swoop, but I did. But I just decided to go over it to add a little bit of extra thickness. And then for lashes, I applied the Cocoa Lashes in Marilyn. And the bottom lashes are some old lashes that I don't know where the fuck they're from. But yeah, now I'm just lightly tracing where I want all the colors to be if there's any like types of shapes that you guys would like to do now would be the time to sort of etch it out then I'm gonna be going crazy with the hydro liners first using dance party and applying that where I see fit not really any rhyme or reason to this guys you can kind of look at reference photos of like watercolor or oil slick or whatever type of design you want to go for I was just freestyling it and just feeling it so yeah we're just gonna go with the flow use a shit ton of bright colors you guys will see all the different hydro liners that I used and the rest is pretty self-explanatory I did try to pair some colors in like a rainbow fashion but not 
all of the colors if that makes any sense you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here but yeah apply them in whatever way you want I also wanted to try and do a little bit of overlapping, so changing the shapes uh, and the design of this piece a little bit. Uh, I found it was quite helpful to do it that way, but again, you can kind of do whatever you want. And I didn't manage to get all of the hydro colors that I used on camera. I did apply like a few of the blue shades, a white and a black off camera, so just be prepared for that, y'all. So about now is when my camera decided that it wanted to die on me, so I didn't capture all the rest of the colors that I used, but here they are. And then I went in using the Pretty Zombie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Black Cat, applied it to my lips, and then to finish off the eye, I just applied a little bit of eyeliner to that one eye, and popped in two different contacts. I'll leave the links for the contacts in the description bar below if you want to see where I got them. And that is it. So that was my tutorial guys, hopefully you enjoyed, fun, helpful and useful to you in some sort of way. Let me know what you thought of this makeup in the comment section down below and I will get back to you eventually. Uh, it's taking me a little... If you guys want to see photos and all that good stuff, it will be on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, so you guys can follow me there. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.